pixel art and isometric art style is something that's relatively common among indie games and also very big commercial AAA titles. In this episode I will show you a simple way to create your own tile in two variation. One will be generic, the other will be a selected version of the same tile. In another installments of the series I will show you how to use those uh, created images in order to render and operate tile-based games in Unity. All right, so we start with a very basic and empty canvas. Uh, in my case, it's 16 by 16 pixels. And don't be fooled by the gray area here. It actually is a transparent background in a sprite. If you don't own a sprite, you can use whatever graphical software you want. It can be Photoshop, which is also paid, or as a free stuff, I can recommend using GIMP or some other tools. It doesn't really matter what you choose. So after you've set and prepared two canvas, because we'll work on two similar tiles. First one will be generic tile and the other will be a selected version of this generic tile. So after we create a 16 by 16 canvas, we start with drawing the outline of our tile. So I choose black color and I will draw the outline. I start in the middle. Actually, there is no middle pixel when it's uh, even number of pixels when it comes to width. So I color both of them. And then I will go with two pixels, white rectangulars each time, finished with one pixel, just like this, and then I repeat. And as you can see, we already have our top of the uh, isometric tile. As a matter of fact, if you created a canvas that's, for example, 16 by 8, you could finish with this, with this top, but I want to also create the side of this tile. That's why I have chosen bigger canvas. So right now, what we want to do is we create a similar, we can also copy this thing here, copy, we paste it and move it here so that we need only to connect those two sides and right now we have nearly created our isometric tile. Last thing but not the least is to create the third connection. And right now uh, I have chosen to connect the left side because when coloring we should choose one side which will be lighter and the other one will be a little bit darker which will show uh, the direction of the light in the scene. So I choose a gray color and I will color this side here a bit darker and the other will be a bit lighter. As a matter of fact, I don't really like the black outline. You can have it as it is, but I personally uh, would like to, to change it to a darker color, maybe a bit darker even. All right, so we've got our very first style created and completed as a matter of fact. Right now I will copy this one and I will paste it here. And what I want to do is to create some kind of variation that will show that the tile is selected or that the mouse pointer is just hovering over this tile. So I will go with blue color can be blue, it can be yellow, it can be red, it can be whatever of you choosing. I'll make it a bit lighter, so it won't be very bright, but a kind of a pale. And I will draw an inner outline on the top. And as you can see, when you compare those two, this one has a very nice tint, which will show that uh, the tile is selected. And as a matter of fact, that's it, really. And now you can save it as a PNG file and use it in a game engine of your choosing. For example, myself, I'm using it in Unity game engine. And how to use them, how to generate iso isometric tile board, I will show you in the next episode of this small series.